In this video, we're going to look again at how to add and subtract rational expressions. Now we're going to look at complex fractions. And as the word complex means, this is a complicated process. However, I'm going to try and show you a visual way to make it easier. If we look at this entire fraction, it does look hard to do. So if I want to simplify this, let's work with it in parts. Let's just simplify this numerator first. Let's just visually focus inside this box. So let's add these two expressions, which means with these two expressions, I want to find what my common denominator is. And so my common denominator here, I have 1 plus 1 over x. So the common denominator is just x. So I have a 1 on the top, and I have a 1 on the bottom. I want x, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the x. The other one I have, 1 over x, I already have my x in the bottom. So 1 times x is just x. So I have x plus 1 over my common denominator of x itself. And so if we simplify the top all by itself, it's nothing different than what we've done in the previous examples. Next, what I'm going to do is simplify the bottom the same way. I'm just going to focus down here and make this one look nicer. I'm going to simplify it. So again, I have to find my common denominator. I have 1 over 1, x over y, so the common denominator is y. So I have 1 times y over my y minus x over y. Well, 1 times y is just y. So you get y minus x on the top over your y. And so what I've done is I worked with them with just the separate numerator and the denominator and just simplified. Technically, there still is a fraction bar here. But because I visually broke it down, it made it a little bit easier for us to see what to do. Now, from here, we need to remember that you're doing a fraction divided by a fraction. Writing it vertically is hard for some people to understand and see what to do. And so if you write it horizontally, x plus 1 over x divided by y minus x over y, you see, oh, I'm dividing two fractions. I flip the second fraction and change it to multiplication. And so that's what I'm supposed to do. And so the first one stays the same, x plus 1 over x. And you flip the second one, so the y goes on top, and the y minus x goes on the bottom. And then I just multiply. I have y times x plus 1 on the top, and I have x times y minus x on the bottom. And we just leave that alone as is. It cannot be simplified from there. Also remember, if you can recall the shortcut with the divide a fraction by a fraction, that the bottom of the bottom goes to the top. You multiply the two outer ones together. And the bottom of the top goes to the bottom. You multiply the insides together. You're really taking y times x plus 1 and x times y minus x. And you can go right from here to your final answer and check to see if it can be simplified, which we know it can't. And so when you're dealing with complex fractions, you just need to visually realize they're just two fractions stacked on top of each other. So just simplify the first one all the way. Simplify the second one all the way. And then work with it when it's visually nicer on your eyes. So it's the same idea for this one. I am going to focus on just simplifying 1 minus y over x. I'm going to focus on identifying my common denominator here and getting just this top numerator to look nice. So my common denominator is x. So I have x over x minus y over x, which can be combined to give me x minus y over x. This looks a lot nicer than that. And so I do the same thing with the bottom. I have 1 over y plus 1 over x. I need to identify my common denominator. 
well, this has an x, this has a y. They have nothing in common, so I just write down what remains, which is x, y. Which means this 1 over y, I need to multiply the top and the bottom by x. This 1 over x, I need to multiply the top and the bottom by my y. Well, multiply by 1, 1 times x is just x. 1 times y is just y, so I have x plus y in the top and x, y in the bottom. Again, though we didn't write it, these are actually your complex fractions. This is actually what you're doing. And so from this point, again, it's the vertical approach. It's hard for people to see what to do. And so I just go right to realizing what this means. And instead of rewriting the whole thing horizontally, I'm just going to rewrite this bottom part. I am dividing by x plus y over xy, which means I have to flip and multiply by xy over x plus y. So I have my original, the x minus y over x. Instead of writing down the horizontal, I'm going to realize, hey, I'm dividing by this fraction, so I flip and multiply. And so the xy goes to the top and the x plus y goes to the bottom. And then I just multiply. I have x, y times x minus y goes in parentheses. I have x times x plus y. And I look, can anything be simplified? Well, there's an x on the factors on the outside on the top and bottom, so I can cross them out. So I'm left with y times x minus y over x plus y. And that is the simplified complex fraction from what we started with to here. Work with them separately, get it down. Work with it separately, get it down so they have a common denominator. And then realize you're writing division vertically, which is hard to understand. So look at it horizontally and you'll know what to do. Again, if you remember this shortcut, if you remember, hey, connect the outsides together, you're really taking x, y times x minus y. Connect the insides together. You're really taking x times x plus y. You could jump right down to this step and simplify from there. And so that is how you simplify our complex